28, 2022, Hurricane Ian would make landfall just west of the city of Fort Myers, Florida. It was a Category 4 hurricane, and the destruction it would cause would be immense. Southwest Florida is a very densely populated part of Florida, and right in the path of most hurricanes, yet the state does very little for adapting to a warming climate and more extreme weather events. From above the state, you get a sense of the scale of human civilization in this low-lying coastal region. Now, notice all the blue tarps. Each blue dot we see here is a roof that was badly damaged by Hurricane Ian and still unrepaired months after the storm. Hey, I'm on Fort Myers Beach, Florida, and it's been three months since Hurricane Ian came through. And it's a good reminder that history is still being made around us every day. That that type of extreme weather event brought about by climate change is affecting the history and development of places like Florida. This uh, island, a sterile island, is where I grew up and it's really striking just the devastation that's still here and clearly the history of this town has been forever altered by Hurricane Ian. From high enough above, Estero Island, which is home to the community of Fort Myers Beach, looks peaceful, but on the ground we can see a community struggling to emerge from near total devastation. And that's not hyperbole. Driving along Estero Boulevard, you see very little that hasn't been profoundly affected by the storm. Nature is starting to recover, and the local government is very anxious for tourists to return to the island. It's the mainstay of the economy, after all, but the infrastructure is still just in ruins, even right down to street signs. Um, most homes have electricity now, and that's a big plus, but many hotels and private residences and local businesses, they're just uninhabitable. So it's hard to imagine tourist season returning to normal anytime soon. Going back to my hometown and seeing it like this months after the hurricane was a really emotional experience for myself and my family. But we're, we're optimistic that the community will recover someday. Nevertheless, I can't imagine that life will ever return completely to normal. Hurricane Ian has forever changed the history of this town.